the St. George Temple reached a milestone in November. The one year anniversary of its extensive renovation project. Now visibly transformed from demolition to rebuilding. The most noticeable transformation, the new North Entrance Edition. Over the summer, crews laid concrete and installed steel beams and girders. In preparation for the exterior precast walls and interior steel framework in the fall. Another significant achievement, shoring up the hand laid rock foundation. The process involves reinforcing the temple's original 14 stone columns to improve stability. Each column is wrapped in fiberglass and flanked with four steel pilings called micropiles. The load from the building will be transferred to these uh, micropiles that are driven deep in the earth. And they basically drill down anywhere between 35 to 40 feet deep, and this temple's lasted 142 years on the existing foundations. After beefing this up, we're going to be able to ensure that the foundations last far beyond that. But it's not all about the steel and concrete. It's also about the trees, flowers, and foliage that adorns a new serene walkway around the temple. This idea that St. George will blossom like a rose is a very important part of this community. This town is very proud of its landscape, of its trees, of its plantings. We're adding so many more trees than were originally here on the site. When people come here for the open house, it will be green and lush and beautiful. As the necessary new is added, remnants of the past discovered. Original construction workers left their signatures in some places. They left bits of poetry in the walls. And it's been really fun to go back and see those themes. What was built by pioneer hands with very few architectural plans will soon meet modern day construction as the old and new become one. The new addition will look like it fits with the 1870s building. A challenge to be sure, but in the end, one that promises to be seamless and a tribute to the craftsmen of a bygone era and present day alike.